So this hut is absolutely my favourite place in the world. I think whenever I come to this little hut in the woods, I have this sense of coming home, of coming to a place that even though I have another home and other places where I go to, that this is, gosh, deeply my place. So it's a real place to come for a perspective, and I try to get here once a week. When I'm lucky or organised, I come and stay overnight and can sleep here because I often can get a little bit carried away in just being too busy. And this is where I come to chill, to try to slow down, to breathe, um, to reconnect with myself, and to remember who I am and nature of which I'm part. And I do also do my best work here. So if you have a bit of land that you call your own, you have access to timber, you fancy that little place to go and get away from the wild world that we're in, it's actually not that hard. And um, I'm not a particularly practical person, but I asked for 15 days of a carpenter, Jim McKean's time, and so I had 15 days of his time and lots of volunteer help, and we built this little place. It was built for a few thousand pounds, partly because we have access to timber and partly because we rented a sawmill. We just, yeah, were able to create this little place. And I think there's something about both having this little place to come to, but also, um, gosh, as a not particularly practical person, when I was a teenager I used to make things. I built a lovely bookcase which I have at home, but generally I'm not that practical. And so the beauty of being able to work with timber and to make something like this and to kind of find out what, what dwangs and noggins are and all of that stuff. Yeah. What are dwangs and noggins? So the dwangs and noggins, if I'm right actually, and gosh, you know, please, somebody is better off on this, but is is the sort of, um, yeah, the sort of the ins and outs of this. I th I, I, th I think this is about, is this about drawings and noggins or maybe it's the inside bit? Um, but there's something about where it kind of comes out. Um, and that also shows my, gosh, just um, beginning to learn how to, well, how to use, you know, even the sort of just the working, working with simple bits of wood and putting the planks together and all of that was really for me, um, gosh, what was it? It was... It was finding skills that I didn't know that I had, and of thinking, actually, for people to build huts like this, it's not a huge, huge thing. You certainly need somebody who's better than you at working with wood, or if you're like me, you do. But um, that there is the joy of being able to work with wood, and there is the joy of being able to... We talk about homemaking, but that's often thought about domestic stuff at, in a house. Um, this is really homemaking. This is really making one's little place to dwell in the woods. So this is my hut in this bit of the woods um, and we are also have been working over the last few years on plans for another hut site um, which is in this um, wood behind us called Cash Wood. It's a fairly modest size of wood. We have just over the last few months got planning consent for up to 15 huts in the wood and they like this will be off grid. There'll be a short walk from Pillars of Hercules farm shop and cafe. We already have a number of particularly families who are really keen to um, have a place so they're mainly in cities or large towns and really looking at um, with their children reconnecting to nature and wanting a little place in the woods. So um, within a year from now I think um, this woodland will be buzzing with not just the sounds of the wildlife that is there and the birds that sing but also of little voices um, playing around making dens enjoying enjoying hot life in the woods mm -hmm.